So today we're going to be talking about is how a mentorship student got a $1,000 month client, a $600 per month client, and a $7,000 cleanups within 22 days of working together inside of my mentorship program. So just some housewarming gifts. One, if you're watching this live, please write hashtag team live to let me know, and I'll be able to make this more interactive for you so you can get some more value out of it and answer some of your questions. If you're watching this on the replay, write hashtag team replay. And if there's a lot of people who are doing on the replay, I know that I'll just give a lot of um, kind of resources you guys can kind to take from afterwards. Next, if you want me to connect with you to answer some questions you might have about growing your business, write hashtag connect and I'll be sure to reach out to you with some answers. And then finally, if you want some help growing your business and seeing if I can help you be able to go and grow your business to reach your goal without making the mistake that 90% of people fall into and stumble into when they're first getting started, go ahead and click on the link inside of the description and even the comment section below to book a call with me to see if I can help you. Now, let's get inside of this video. So, kind of back to what we're saying, guys. Sales. The biggest thing that I, that I can say about sales is business is not about getting more clients. Okay, business is about making more money at the end of the day. Now, the biggest trade off that we do have to consider, right, is time. How much money are you making per unit of time, right? Because business is about making money, but at the same time, the reason why we get into business in a lot of cases is because we want freedom. So if you're making a huge amount of money, but you have no more freedom. Is the money really like, really worth it? It depends. <laughs> so the number one thing is we have to make sure that we're going to make as much money as possible while giving away the lowest amount of time possible. And the way that you do that is by adding value, okay? So generally what happens is the more value that you can show you bring to the organization or to the person who's going to be paying you money, the easier it is to charge more while giving away less time for example if someone if someone values your service at a hundred dollars per hour you can work 10 hours per week and get four thousand dollars per month versus if you cannot convey your value as effectively and they only deem you like fifty dollars per hour it's going to take you twice as long twice as much time to make that same amount of money so we gotta be able to raise the value. Now, the key thing here is a really good indicator to kind of know whether or not like you've been portraying the value correctly is look how much money you have relative to how much time you have left. If you're out of time and you're only making you know three thousand to five thousand dollars per month, that generally shows that you know the way we've been explaining the value to our potential clients and even to our existing clients um, is is not enough to really really hit that $10,000, $12,000, $15,000 per month. So you have to go and look at how you're actually doing this. How are you explaining the value? A good example is actually my student, Melissa. So when Melissa first started, she had about 30, it was like close to 30, yeah, it was 30 clients that she had, but she's only making about $3,500 per month. And she was still in, she was in corporate America she's, um, for a while. And the reason why she didn't grow her business very far is because every single time she got a new client, she wouldn't be making much money. So she never really thought that she could actually do well with the business. Right? She's like, well, why would I even put in any effort if, like, I just can take a million clients just to go and get to ten grand a month? If she's at thirty and she's only making thirty-five hundred, then extrapolate that out. She thinks it's going to take about a hundred clients to get to that ten thousand dollar per month mark. So the first thing that we had to do was one. Was we basically, as soon as she joined, I, I told her, I was like, hey, this is going to be really painful. And she's like, what do you mean? I said, we're going to have to go raise the price on every client you have. Every client you have. I, I know this is what you're paying me for to join the mentorship program. It's, it's, it's not fun. It's, it's not the nicest thing. You might feel like you're going to lose some clients, but I promise if you've been adding really good value to them, you're not going to lose them. So basically what we went through, um, I can't remember what we did for all the clients we added, I think it was like we increased them by like 20 to 25 percent, right? And it was hilarious. So out of out of 29 clients we raised the price on, there's only one that actually said anything, like one that had a problem with it. Even then, like we were able to just convince them, hey, it's not that much money. Like let's let's go, and the person was good. So a lot of people are afraid that if they go and raise their prices, then it's going to cause them not to be able to keep the clients they already have. And the client's going to get mad, they're going to actually cry, and then they're going to fire them. That's not the case. 
the second thing we had to do is from now on, we always had to make sure that her price breaks down to at least $125 per hour. Keep in mind, she's not charging hourly. She has a flat rate, but anytime, even if you do a flat rate, there's still dollars divided by the amount of time you're spending. And just so happens that a good metric for time is hours. So it breaks down to about $125 per hour. Now, if you want to know what's cool about this thing, is she has 37 clients now. So she went from 30 to 37 clients, but now she does about $10,550 per month. And it only took her about two months to be able to make that transformation. So it doesn't have to take you a lot of time if you know how to go and raise your existing prices and you know how to price correctly moving forward. And that's really the key that allowed her to be able to do that. And the cool thing about this, actually the even cooler thing, is she's still able to work her current job. She's making 10550 on top of what she does for her current 9 to 5. Why she hasn't quit the 9 to 5? It's because it's only been two months, to be honest. Like, no matter how much money you make, if, if it's only two months, you just haven't had enough time to leave. Also, since it's not taking her very much time to go and make that, she's able to do that comfortably. She's actually a single um, parent of two children who both have a lot of extracurricular activities like dance recitals. And I think one has um, does soccer and does, um, I think, field hockey. So on two different spectrums of it. All that to say, like, you guys can do this without spending a huge amount of time. I sometimes hear people like, I can't grow my business because I have a full-time job. Or I can't grow my business because I have children. It's like, dude, you, you can do anything you really want to. If, if you really are serious about this, you can find a way. There's ways we can automate your lead gen, we can automate your marketing so that you're not really spending time doing your marketing. All that you're really spending time doing is those consultation calls and then doing the client work. But even then, if you get really good at QuickBooks online or if you're using um, um, Xero or even NetSuite, depending on it, as in QuickBooks, there's a lot of automations that if you just learn how to do that, it saves you so much time. Now. The cool thing about this is she's going to be quitting her job soon. We've been talking about this, like how to really transition out of her job to make sure that she still feels really strong. But in the meantime, she's receiving double income. And it's really, really incredible to kind of see. So she went from making, I think she was making anywhere between like 80 to 100. I don't know exactly what she was making in corporate. 80 to $100,000 per year. Now she has an additional $10,000 per month. And it's just really cool to be able to see that. So I'm super excited to be able to, you know, just kind of, Talk to you yesterday. It's really fun and really great to be able to help people out and make sure they grow their business so much faster. Because, I mean, again, if I had this thing when I got started, like, one, I probably would have been on the fence for it because, you know, I didn't want to spend any money when I was first getting started. Um, but as soon as I did start spending money, that's when my income just started going, whoop. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of the, the challenge, right? Some people want to spend their time. Some people want to spend their money. People who make, who make money generally spend money to make money. That's how you invest. That's how you move forward. That's how you grow a lot faster. That's how you get those hyper um, speed, just growth jumps in your business. So, you know, once again, if that's you, if you want some help, go ahead and click on the link inside the description below. I would love to see if I can help you. If it's not a good fit, I'd just make sure. Um, yeah, if you want some help, just make sure. Uh, sorry, I got thrown off. Someone put inside the chat. Do you suggest any program or platform to automated marketing? Hey, I mean, so it really depends um, on what you're already using. So generally, we're going to be looking for you. Um, I don't know exactly where your audience is built. Do you have more people on LinkedIn or on Facebook right now? You got me? Sorry, guys. Like I said earlier, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them inside the chat. And before I even answer that, because I know she's still typing it out, if you want to see if I can help you grow your business without having to make mistakes that cause most people to fail in their business, click the link inside the description to book a call with me. Um, if I can't help you out, I'm going to be straight up. I'm just going to tell you because I have to really make sure I protect my time since I am running the accounting firm and the paid mentorship program at the same time. So i got to make sure if it's not a good fit, if I don't think I can take you to 10000 a month, 20000 a month, um, or even 15000 a month, just depending on where you are, I'm not going to not going to try and sell you into the program. It's just personally, I, I just can't do it. So if that is you, I'd love to see you on the call and see if it's a good fit. If it's not, take it easy, keep watching the video. So Yemi Gallardo said, do you suggest any program or platform to automate marketing? So right now she has most of her um, network is on Facebook. Okay, so Facebook is a little bit more challenging to do automated marketing. Um, so that's why we always go with LinkedIn first and then Instagram second. So if I was going to do that, I'd be using a tool called Linked Helper. 
or duck soup. Now, for Yummy, for most beginners, duck soup is generally a really easy way to do it. It's spelled D-U-X-O-U-S-O-U-P. One sec. Yeah, it's spelled D-U-X-S-O-U-P is what I would use to automate LinkedIn. And what I have used to automate LinkedIn. Duck soup is a good LinkedIn. Now, keep in mind, though, whenever we're using a, a LinkedIn automation tool, you have to make sure that your initial foundations are set really correctly. Meaning, if you don't know how to identify who is a high-value target to begin with, then Linked Helper and, like, Duck Soup are only as good as you are. It's only as good as what you can tell it to do. So you have to make sure you know how to target correctly. Then you have to make sure that you have your message sequence done correctly. And then you have to make sure that you know exactly how to invite people to the phone call. And after that, lead gen is pretty much automated. I like to say it's more semi-automatic than fully automatic because you still have to be able to look at the messages to evaluate whether or not the person can be a time waster. Because again, it doesn't really make sense to do a million calls if they're not really high quality. So just kind of want to say that as a caveat. Let me know if I answered your question fully inside of the comment section. Also, one thing to note with Facebook, Facebook is a little bit harder to automate because they want it to be very personalized. So it, it is really hard to automate Facebook. Cool. I think she said yes. It fully answered her question inside the chat. Awesome, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Great seeing you guys on this call. I'm super thankful for your time. I'm super thankful for your attention. Hopefully, I've earned your attention. Hopefully, I'll see you next week. And hopefully, I'll talk to you soon, okay? Always here to help. Always here to make sure you guys move forward. Talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Benito put a two. One put a yes. Hey, you get me. Book a call. I know we've been talking about it, um, and I, I forgot to to um, I forgot to respond to your message today because I got a little bit busy. So if you can, go ahead and book a call, and let's see if I can help you out. Because I know that you're pretty good at business already. So let's go take you to that next level. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay. Have a great one.